now i'll just give you a brief overview about what you can follow this work for me i think this work for a lot of other people but this might or might not work for you but i'll just give you a brief overview of the abc approach method the first one so abc approach method is basically where you identify each question as with its difficulty category for example i was really comfortable with topics like mensuration and you know number systems or algebra or uh, circles so i used to put the put those questions in category of the easiest question section now this might vary for you some people might find profit and loss simple interest compound interest really easy and those are easy topics so if you find those easy those, those questions really easy you put that in category a which is the lowest difficulty level now for category a questions you should not take more than 1 minute of your time i, I think i'm also exaggerating when i say 1 minute you should not take more than 45 seconds for those questions right so accordingly identify what questions you are very comfortable with what sections you are very comfortable with and what topics you find the most familiar questions in you find such kind of questions you solve those questions within 45 minutes you move to the next question so for example if the next question you find with a chapter like let's say permutation and combination which i used to put put in category level b now b level questions are questions where you take around 50 seconds to 2 1 and 1/2 minutes maybe so 50 to 90 seconds category b questions now these questions you need to put in some efforts while solving for category a questions you need not even lift your pen in some cases but in category b questions you need to write some things down now this takes up time maybe you can solve this questions within a span of 50 to 90 seconds identify those questions correctly move on to the next sect you identify the category level c questions in a manner where you have where you don't understand the question of the first instance like tumne question padha tumko samajh mein nahi aa raha iska approach kya hai these are the type of questions which usually take more than 2 minutes now in such a such kind of questions i personally would advise that don't use these question don't solve these questions in the first round of your attempt divide your attempts into multiple rounds aisa zaruri nahi hai ki tum pehla sa question solve karo uske baad hi tum second question solve karoge If you find the first question is really tough, skip it. Move on to the second question. You find it really tough, move, skip it. Move on to the third question. First round, me your aim should be to identify all the A level questions and solve them as soon as possible. Second round, me your approach should be to identify and solve the maximum amount of B level questions. And if you are able to solve all the B B level questions, well then good. Then the third round, move on to C level questions. So this is the first approach where you divide the paper into rounds, so, and I'll tell you an experience of one of my really good friends. So that guy is really good at QA. So he was taking a live mock attempt. So in the first first five minutes of the question, that guy QA was his strength. In the first five minutes, he was able to solve literally zero questions. Now for a person who identifies QA as his strength, if he solves zero questions in the first five to seven minutes, that the pressure is bound to happen. right so my point basically of saying all of this was there might be instances where you have to skip maybe the first 15 questions straight now in such situations don't just feel disheartened ki yaar pehle 15 question hi nahi hue pura paper mein kuch nahi hone wala aisa nahi hoga 22 sawal hai pura paper mein pehle 15 nahi hue to aakhri ke sath definitely easy honge cat wale banane wale bhi gadhe nahi hai ki wo sare questions tough de de just have that in mind because cat is not an exam for engineers it's an exam for everyone and people also for people who are not good at qa to unko ye dhyan rakhna padta hai ki bhai 7 8 sawal to bana hi de qa ke easy wale the second approach is dividing the question in three or four sections based on what your preferences are and you know if you divide the questions let's say in three if you divide the paper in let's say in three question uh, three sets first set seven seven questions second set seven questions third third set eight questions 22 questions done now for the first 12 to 13 minutes i will only solve all the seven questions of set a in the next 12 to 13 minutes i will only solve the seven questions of the second set which i have divided and in the third last 15 minutes or 14 15 minutes i will only solve the last eight questions now the caveat of this question is what i had explained in the previous set like in the previous option right if you if you find the first 17 of the first 15 questions tough now tumhare pehle ke 12 13 minute to waste ho gaye and for the second set also if you find the question stuck you will again waste 12 to 13 minutes so to my your 24 to 25 minutes are gone down the drain now for the capacity which you had maybe you had the capacity of solving 12 to 13 questions in 40 minutes you will only be solving eight questions in the last 15 minutes so this is an approach which i personally would not recommend 
I would still recommend you to go with ABC, but you, in my opinion, should uh, try an experiment with all the three options given on the slide and select what's comfortable with you. You go in one sequential order and you solve questions according to your comfortability level. Now, for example, I did not, I was not very comfortable with triangles. So I used to leave such kind of questions in the first attempt. So depending on what questions you're comfortable with, tailor these strategies according to your own uh, comfort levels, level, leverage these strategies for your own personal benefit. The, just because these are the three options given by us does not make them the only three options available in the world. There might be a case where nothing of these strategies work for you as well. So you need to identify a strategy that works for you and leverage that strategy in your mocks and in your CAD. Try out very different strategies, but for maybe the last seven to eight mocks, stick to only one strategy. Please your strategy maybe a month and month or a month and a half before cat don't don't alter your strategies after that